feel the mighty strength of Kong as he enters the ultimate battle royale against Godzilla with some bone-crushing primal strength and a legendary new weapon fit for a king. This is your look at Funko Pop Kong. And yes, I did just read that off the Playmates box. <laughs> All of you are probably wondering the context of this, so uh, let, let me get into it just in a quick flash. So, me and my father were going through them all, and we were looking through exclusive stores, specifically the most exclusive, probably like a few hot topics and all that. That's why I wasn't uploading for a while, and that's kind of why I wanted to wait to do the review. But anyway, besides that, we found... A Funko Pop of Godzilla vs. Kong. It was the last one. They had none others. No other Funko Pops of the same movie. Because they had the 10-inch Giant Kong. Now, albeit you, prob you all probably think I don't deserve this because I don't like Kong. I never said I never did not like Kong. All I said was that if I had to choose a team, Team Godzilla. Because I love Kong. And I love Godzilla. I love them both equally, but if I had to choose a team, I'd probably choose Team Kong. I mean, Team Godzilla. So yeah, I'm not saying I don't like Kong. I just said that if I had to choose a team, I'd go Team Godzilla. But Kong is really good, and I love how this pop looks, even if many don't like the monkey. So before we do that, let's get into this box. Now, this is a 10-inch, so I'm not going to be able to show it on camera, but I'll have a few screenshots at the end that you can watch and see if you want to see Kong in the box and all that stuff. So, let's look at it. So, we have a Kong. Nice image of Kong, actually. I really like that. This would be my first 10-inch Funko Pop. Um, I do have other Pops. I'm joking with you all. I do have some Pops, but just know this is a pretty big Pop, and it's a pretty big box. So, if we turn the box around, we have Kong. It says on the side here, Kong. Here's the top of the box. You can see a nice image of Kong. On the side here, it is not white. It is, in fact, kind of blue and orange, just like the movie. The bottom, you're not going to get much. You're just going to get the same old boring stuff. But if we take a look at the back, we here have an official look at it. Even if people have done it before me, but here it is, all the pops. You can see 10-inch Godzilla, 10-inch Kong, which I have. Godzilla, Heat Ray Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla. Oh, look at that. I don't know if I can. There you go. Look, it's my Godzilla. Um, Battle Scarred Kong, Kong with Battle Axe, and Battle Ready Kong. Now, these all look cool. I wish I could have them, but they only had this one. Who knows? Maybe they'll get more in the future. I don't know. I don't know why. But Godzilla looks like he has a derp smile here. Is it just me, or does he look like he has a derp smile? Battle Ready Kong? He doesn't look Battle Ready. This, these look like Battle Ready. He just looks like... He just saw a cringy meme on Reddit. With that out of the way, let's open that. That's. Did I just say that's? Um, this bad boy. And yes, I opened Pops by the top of the box. So if you feel offended by that, I am deeply sorry. You know, this is a pretty big box. I don't know how I did that. And before we continue, it came with this nice little backdrop, which will be heavily used in stop motions in the future. You got some nice little buildings. They're all blue. If someone wants to take a screenshot or something, here it is. I think it's pretty good. Pretty sick. And look at this. Hold on. It fits nicely with my Playmates figures. Thank the Lord. Here it is if you've ever wanted to see a Kong face, but there's no details. There it is. That's very cursed. Um, love it, I guess. Oh my god, this figure is so chunky. I've never had 10 inches. Anyway, th this being my first 10 inch, the head, that is very chunky. Um, Here, I'll use this pop for a reference. His head doesn't feel very chunky. Maybe it's because they use more plastic. But oh goodness, that is not hollow. Also, I just realized you can't really see much, so let me lower it down by a bit. There we go, now you can see a lot more. But he feels very chunky and big. If this is how big and chunky Kong feels, I can't imagine how Godzilla would feel. Goodness me, he is... Oh, I can't describe his chunkiness. It's just too chunky. I, uh, 
I'll get it out in a bit, but compared to my 11-inch Godzilla, this Kong is chunkier. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. But for size comparisons, I'm not getting out the ruler. He is 10 inches. Uh, I'll do some comparisons. Here we have the Kong family. Um, the Playmates Kong is a lot smaller. NECA Kong is a lot bigger. He's almost as big, but he is still tiny. Here is the 11-inch Godzilla, which he just reaches. So he's almost as big, but the Godzilla is obviously a lot larger. So, yeah, there's your comparison. That, those are all the figures I'm going to do. Articulation. This one's going to be a quickie because there's not much to talk about that. Oh. Oh. That's actually kind of sad. I thought that... Again, this is my first 10-inch, so I know nothing about how these ones work. But the head-on... The head on Kong doesn't move, and I obviously don't want to bust it if it's glued, especially since this was the only one. So, never mind that. There's no articulation on this guy. Besides articulation, you're not always there for that. You're here for the sculpt. So, here. I am going to put it simple. I don't have the Pop Kong from 2017. But if we compare it, that one kind of looked babyish. Like, this Kong is a lot more aggressive, just like the new one. That's what I love about that. For sometimes, Pop can do some pretty bad exclusives and figures. I never said they were bad. But this wave, it's really good. I do want a few, maybe if I can. But the sculpt is really great. And I love how this looks more threatening than the last Kong. It's almost as if he grew in the Funko Pop evolution. But that's probably something called the Funko Verse, which I won't get into. But here's your sculpt. He's got a bunch of fur. He's got his beard. Oh, he's got his magnificent beard. If it, it's not real fur, but yeah. He's got giant teeth, actually. I thought they'd be a lot smaller, but pretty big. Got his big, meaty eyes. His thing, I guess. There's his eyes. Oh, and we'll get into paint later, but just know the painting on this guy is great. You can see the three scars he always had and his chest, his beautiful chest. Fur, he is knuckle-walking, except for this hand. about to punch something. Here is the feet. Here's the monkey monkey toes. You guys want monkey toe picks? Here's your monkey toe picks. The, the fur is really sculpted well. There's his ear if you want to see that. And here's the back, which you're not going to get much. You are going to get some monkey booty, but besides that and the fur, you're not going to get much else. And there's your sculpt. It's really good, and it's really detailed. So obviously with Funko Pops, the articulation you're going to get is the head, but... The 10 inches don't look like they have any. So usually these kind of are not, these aren't figures to play with more than to display. So you're going to have some really fun movements with this one. As you can see, he is in a battle attack position, ready to fight whoever. So with a snap of my fingers, let me at least show you somewhat of what he can do. And snap. So as you can see, there's clearly a lot you can do with this figure, especially in the pose he's in. Uh, there is a second alternate version. Uh... The Hong Kong Light Kong version, which is the 10-inch. I'm going to skip those, as always. I'm going to skip the Hong Kong versions. I can do without those. But this is just an example of what you can do with this figure. You have tons of options to display them in. So, yeah, there's your sculpt. There's your details. There's your posing. Articu well, there's no articulation, but you still get it. Uh, paint. He is this kind of brownish gray. Not as much gray, but it is brown. And, for example, on the beard... You can see there is some dry brushing of a lighter gray there. It looks really good. I think they should have done more of that. But from looking at the whole figure, that's really the only part they did with this. It still looks nice, though. It doesn't look bad. Um, you can see the gray kind of brownish tan skin he has. Really dark. It really suits this Kong. And his battle scar wounds are kind of pinkish gray. They're kind of healing, but not after what Godzilla does to him. Here you can see the pink in the mouth and the white on the teeth. Looks really good. So you are not going to have to worry about standing this guy. Pretty much his knuckle walking and his feet. Uh, You can see here he should be standing like this, but thanks to that, he still stands really good. So for price, I can't say much. I got it for 40 I don't know what he will actually be in stores or what stores he will be at. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be lower than 40 Probably around 20 So you won't be wasting too much. But do be careful on who and where you buy it from. So before we end off this review, let's just go over to the details one more time. There you go. I'm just going to give it one last good look at this. There you go.
the details are just outstanding on this guy. Little plump monkey booty. Because <laughs> who doesn't want that? There you go. So, that's a really good figure. I really want to see what happens with Godzilla. And I do advise getting this figure. So, what are my overall thoughts on this figure? It's a 9 out of 10. What's the missing point? The price, but again, that could just be me. But other than that, this is a really good figure, and everyone should get it if you're a fan. And this is really good for displaying, and it's a nice size for you to not play with, but most likely display with. And it even comes with a nice little box and a nice little backdrop, which I guess you could count as an accessory. So thank you all for watching this review, and Mr. Monkey Man wishes you a very good afternoon. Ah!